in the future there are trains. It sounds like a Pokemon who is a train. Aren't there already trains? <laughs> it's my favorite sound ever. <laughs> Can that just be the theme song to this whole fucking podcast? <laughs> hey, people. Welcome to episode 21 of the Too Soon Podcast. That's right. We actually said the number at the start this time. Oh, look at us. I'm one of the four people you'll be hearing speak English tonight. Trenton, joined by Oric. Hi. Liam. Yo soy Liam. <laughs> and Trey. Hi, I'm dyslexic. <laughs> no, you ain't. That's yeah. me. I'm, I'm dyslexic. I speak very English. I am the one who don't read. Yeah, you don't read. And yet I aspire to be a writer. And I, I don't out. English, and I'm a history teacher. Yeah, I'm the one who doesn't walk, yet I aspire to be a runner. Well, I miss my you're too fat to be a runner. Got him. Could you teach no, your baby to run before thick. they can walk? Liam. <laughs> what? You think you could teach? Maybe, what if, what if you had a baby right now? You mm. waited until the general oh, age when they start walking. How the fuck am I going to have a baby right now? I I was mostly talking to Trenton, but you you uh, actually you're in the best position to do so. Yeah, so you are. I I do not have ovaries. I cannot have a baby right now. Uh, I beg you. You have for... a seed, and you have a garden to plant it in. Versus us, you have who only ovaries have the seed. within your reach. No. Yes. They're in a different town right now. Still my, within I, your. Text I can barely reach. even reach my monitor right now. <laughs> Regardless, let's get on with it. Let's say. Liam somehow had ovaries inside of him right now and gave like birth. Waited the f- amount of years that it takes for a baby to start walking. It's like I don't know how long that is, but whenever a baby starts walking. But he doesn't encourage it. He's the one parent who doesn't encourage his baby don't to walk. Don't fucking walk, walk goddammit. Don't you dare walk, you fucking little bitch. <laughs> uh, that's what Liam says. And, and you wait like 10 years. And you make goddamn sure that kid does not walk. <laughs> but then, on his fucking tenth birthday, you tell him to fucking run. Well, you don't what understand happens? the concept of running at that point. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like if you're going to teach him to run before you walk, you would maybe do it then, back when they were the baby. Well, they definitely no, they, have to learn how to stand shit. first. Because yeah. you no, can't, I, like, can't walk. This or kid run has never standing. stood up. He's never even used a muscle in his leg. Aside from moving it so that he can get it closer to his hand so he can scratch his leg. Aside from that, he has not used a muscle in his leg. But and then now he's, he's got to be run. like Superman in the Flashpoint <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> thing where he's like a stick. Uh, Alright, how about this? You give him... What is that thing called in the gym? where The leg press. Steroids. <laughs> You give him steroids <laughs> and a leg press. That, that's, where, that's what you find in the gym. You just find steroids. You give him steroids and a leg press, and that's all he's done for the first 10 years of his life. His legs are fucking huge, but he's never walked, so there's no muscle memory. I'm pretty sure and then you just tell him to away. fucking sprint. <laughs> what happens? Does he fall? Beautiful. Does he succeed? Does he learn to fly? Maybe the only reason humans can't fly is because we're so focused on walking for the first years of our life. Well, honestly, the more I together. think about this, I really don't. <laughs> I, I really, I'm pretty sure a baby or any human that does not have any physical impairments will eventually figure out how to walk without parental guidance. Yeah, but what like if you only... yell at him every time and you don't feed him when he does? I, no, I, I feel like even yelling Bad. won't stop it. Like I feel like the only way for the baby to not ever figure out how to walk and not you learn chain the, him the to muscle the memory, goddamn floor. You, yeah, you you push him down. You got it. You got to just not let your him daddy oh five his ass. <laughs> you fucking wreck Jeez. his ass. That is the only way I you that record happens. every minute of this fucking kid's life. Hey, what happened? This kid's got taken away. <laughs> He's got taken. Yeah, yeah, they, they got, got taken. <laughs> I love when right, we. Well, that was my intro. <laughs> I love when we had. I just love the fact that we try. Like before we start recording, we're like, "All right, guys, we're gonna start with this," and then we get off on a tangent. Of, <laughs> can, well, we're also like, "Can a oh, child never talk walk about. and then end up running?" <laughs> I don't even know how that started, but like literally 30 seconds before we started recording, we're like, yeah, I don't really know what we're going to talk about. Probably like uh, the nature center, hurricanes, and then that comes to my mind, so you're welcome. Can you walk? Before, yeah. Before, can you run before I mean, you there walk? is a hurricane coming for half of the podcast right now. Yeah. I mean, it, it's a pretty fucking beefy hurricane. I wouldn't be surprised if it travels up the east. It's a cat five, right? Yeah, it's category five now. This is the last podcast. 
Yeah. yeah, it's tempting me to go back to Jersey yet again this weekend to see if waves are there. Sounds like a bad idea to me. I mean, I've done it before. And he'll do it again. He's a fish. We've talked I, about this. I am otter. <laughs> You're not that hairy, Nova. Oh, God. I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> that was, um, I was referring yeah. to a previous well, episode when I talked about how I learned to swim by watching otters as a kid. And yeah, I mean, what if aren't you like never let your kid hairy? walk, but he lives with otters? And if you guys actually looked at the link dump, you would see that I put a video of otters swimming. <laughs> really? Oh. I gotta check that out. Did you yeah. see like a video of no my, you see my link too. dumps are fire as hell. <laughs> yeah, I'm a fan. They are flame emoji, flame emoji. Wow, that's that's like double. Yeah, it's not just one. There's two. It's lit. It's lit, fam. But for those of you who are not on one of the coasts and never had to deal with uh, tropical storms or hurricanes and you're not following the news for some reason. A hurricane just hit Texas. I think we mentioned that maybe... Did we even mention that last episode? Or no? Or did that not happen yet? Uh, it still it, hasn't happened to this day. Ha- That's in the happen? future. We're no, recording this the, in May. I, we talked about hurricanes last week. Like, I know that. No, yeah. It, Let me look at my I, little It book. happened, right? Oh, yeah, no. We did, we, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. We, we did talk about Harvey. Yeah, no, we did we talk about my family. Yeah. Yeah, so we talked about Harvey. So that yeah, just happened in Texas. We talked about how Trin has some family members up there. Yes. Oh yeah. Because yeah. I because I, I do. Um, See, but that's the best in part. Florida about now. Having, I have a little book that I write all the link dumps in. So I went, I just went back a page and I found that I wrote Harvey down. Wow, you're so resourceful, <laughs> Harvey. You are. I'm, I'm, I'm you could all on only desk. dream to be anything closer to you. Yeah. How I many know. pens do you have right now, Liam? One. How many pens? One. One. That's not oh, that resourceful, that's, though. That's disappointing. Literally, I, I had to. Like I had to go find another pen because the one pen that I do have is like bright fucking pink, and you can't read. <laughs> <laughs> so now I have a black pen. But Hurricane so Irma is the one prepare coming. For the hurricane. Yeah, Hurricane Irma is the one that's coming to Florida a week after one just hit Texas, and that's what we are doing. And we're not doing and, a whole lot. And there's to... another hurricane following it. Yeah, it's a tropical, tropical storm. storm. Oh, yeah, well, I'm gonna check out my. Jose. I have a little app that I yeah, use. They to plan see on hurricanes becoming are. hurricane. I use this app. It's called uh, Hurricanes Tracker. I think it's just a default Android app, and it it really it's a great tool to see where hurricanes are if that is at all important in your day to day. It is to me. All oh, right, so right you. now the hurricane. Oh, hi Alexa, I'm not talking to you. Bye. Alexa, buy armadillo. Buy an armadillo. Oh, boy. Okay. Right now, I am checking out the map, and the hurricane that is headed for you guys seems to be, if I knew geography better, it's almost at Cuba. That's about all I could tell you. I don't know. Is that Haiti? I don't fucking know. Cuba and Haiti are two different islands. <laughs> I understand that. I know I know which Cuba. one is Cuba, but I don't know the other, the one to the right and the one to the right of the one to the right. Well... There's one it's on the one there's, furthest right. There's one big island, and half of it's yes. Puerto Rico, and that's the right side. And then the other half okay. is Haiti, and that's the left side. I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me. Yeah, and from what I understand, from what I hear, it's already hit Puerto Rico and currently over it, I think. Or maybe it's already passed. I'm not sure. All right, so then that little thing is Puerto Rico? I, I got to look this shit up. No, I'm not looking at a map time. right Whatever. now. There's so a hurricane Puerto Rico coming. and Haiti are relatively large uh, islands. It might be Jamaica that you're looking at. Uh, but yeah, it's still in the Caribbean. Yep. And it's supposed to come and hit Florida sometime the weekend between... Well, I mean, it's going to hit mainland by Friday, from what I understand. It's going to come towards where me and Trey live at the latest Monday. Yeah. And to provide some scale for the power of this thing, we're actually feeling the effects here right now. Yeah, it's raining. Like we got, a, we got raining like some torrential rain today. And, and yesterday. Uh, it's been just light rain here. Really? Yeah, but yeah. We're well, feel yeah, it. looking at the map, that actually makes sense. My map shows me the movement of the winds, and uh, you're actually not getting hit really at all. The winds are going straight north for some reason, and they're coming bad. Uh, Maine's probably getting hit by some serious rain, if I had to guess. And that's the visual portion of the the uh, fucking weather channel. That's me, meteorologist. Weather with Orvik. Me and Trey did do a little bit of preparations today, though. We were trying to look for some gas for my car. Not much luck. I'm going to try again because my car is a little bit low on gas, but I'm probably not going to do any major driving unless emergency, which I don't really think 
that we couldn't find no water. We yeah, we I couldn't mean, find I mean, any if, water. If it's a really bad emergency, you're gonna need a boat, not a car. Yeah, cars won't help. Yeah, you. but what about one of those cars that can go on water? Well, like a tree can like That's fall down or do something too. You know, no, other stuff that happens like during hurricanes, such as flooding. Car and boat mixed together. What you guys should do is go out with an axe and cut down some palm trees, and then build a raft, and then just hope that that works. Oh, palm trees are common in Florida, but they're not absolutely everywhere. <laughs> just build a canoe. That, no, that's the only tree you have. That's not the only tree we have. <laughs> yeah, that's the There's only trees no I grow in Florida. No trees in Florida. It's like a forest besides, of uh, palm trees. Yeah. It's well, called yeah, a beach. Isn't that how it works? No. Well, There's beaches well, everywhere, live, though, and they're all palm trees. There are. No. And there's also Alolan executors. <laughs> there's also bath salts. No. <laughs> Yeah, and, and, and a really bad opiate problem. Yeah, did you guys know that 75% of the sand on Floridian beaches is just bath salts? <laughs> <laughs> it's bath salts and uh, it's called heroin needles. Cocaine. <laughs> just, just opium. Yep. But where me uh, where me and Trey live, though, we actually are about, if you were to drive to the nearest beach, it's about roughly, depending on which beach you go to, about 45 minutes to an hour away from actual coast so for the most part, when it comes to huge storms and stuff, we typically don't get hit as hard as a lot of other coastal areas because we are at least a somewhat good distance away from the Do coast Do you know itself. your elevation? Are you at all elevated? Uh, I'm sitting in a chair. I don't know the exact counts. elevation, but, but, but we're not very uh, – most of our town isn't super flood prone. Because I uh, know of... that when we got hit by Sandy, the, I think I probably mentioned this, the house that we take care of in Jersey – happens to be on the highest elevation point in the town and pretty much just in the area. So everything got hit around us, but we were fine. When we got hit with, was it Sandy or Irene that was worse? I think it was Irene. Uh, Sandy was worse for Jersey, yeah, but New York, power yeah. went out here too. I don't I know, because I was I think Irene was the worst for us, but my house was on like this like super hill. And so we got, like, no water anywhere, but, like, all of my neighbors got, like, their basements flooded. And I was like, ha, Irene is the one that fucked up upstate New York really bad. Yeah. And I was body surfing at the time. <laughs> so. <laughs> I mean, our town does sit on a river, though. Uh, the big one that flows through a lot of North Florida to St. John's, like I mentioned before. So right. there is so there is some flooding that happens, like, towards the river and some parts of what, what our downtown is, like, with some low elevation. But, like, the streets I've always lived on, I've never seen any major flooding. Like, I've seen, like, some water build up in people's yards, but nothing like, oh, there's, there's you know, flood. any noticeable water in the streets. Yeah, nothing like that. Well, but just good. to be safe, though, just, just in case, like, the rain amount is way more than we've ever seen or anything like that, I have with Trey. He helped me carry some of them today. I did get some sandbags from my house because I do have some kind of, you know, weak wooden doors in some parts of my house. So I kind of got some bags to cover some of those up to prevent any potential, like, miniature floodage in my house i didn't want to carry any yeah he, he forced his black friend to help him that's yeah. why well, i let him borrow my ps3 progressive i mean i let him borrow my ps3 controller for all the hard work <laughs> Just borrow. The controller borrow well, he has a ps3 <laughs> what if he didn't though and that was his payment like hey you can pretend to play games <laughs> hey hey you, you want to borrow this, this switch jo- joy con <laughs> don't worry Kuki I also, Kente. We give I also gave him a coconut po- <laughs> I, gave him a work. Po- I gave him a poster of uh pokemon that was supposed to be his like a year ago <laughs> what an asshole well what yeah, happened he is gifted pokemon me something Sunday that moved. was mine <laughs> nice when Pokemon Sun and Moon came out, we both went to the Midnight Launch and we got a couple posters. And he said, "Oh, here, just hold on to it for me." And that was like when that game came out last year. <laughs> yeah, I, I just gave it back to him game. today. You still haven't? Nope. How far close are you? Um, I was at, I I like just got to the nature reserve, or whatever the fuck that's called. Like I am not far into that game at all. <laughs> hmm. Oh, by the way, I just thought about it. If you are listening to the podcast and are concerned if this podcast, the one you're listening to now, is going to come out because of the hurricane, <laughs> well, don't. They won't be concerned to... <laughs> because it'll be out by then. Uh, yes, it'll either, it either this, will or won't. Yeah, if this podcast isn't out on Saturday, what the fuck is Saturday? The... This is our That's last will and testament. Okay, if the podcast's not out <laughs> on Saturday, September 9th, then it's because they got oh, too much rain. We got hit. And they come help us it's called 
Trenton couldn't well, get the podcast up, and he couldn't get the podcast like to us so that videos. we could get the podcast up. Yeah, well, but there's the a very... pretty decent likelihood that's going to come out on Saturday since they're not going to get really hit until like Sunday, Monday, the weekend. <laughs> well, if, yeah. if if this comes out late, then you'll already know what happens, or you won't. Yeah, maybe if, you're dead. If it comes out late, I'll let you know on Twitter at Too Soon Podcast. Maybe it's a yeah, total try my best catastrophe. To... And I haven't heard out the Twitter in a while. In Florida. <laughs> No, I'm pretty sure you did it last week too. Like Board in the middle Twitter, of the podcast. Said. I don't think yeah. I, I don't. I have. It's I like, like usually just at the end. end. I already did. <laughs> do it again at Too Soon Podcast on Twitter. There you go. But I'm going to do my Follow best to make sure that it's actually experience. finished tonight. Yeah, tell oh, us so if you got hit by that. If you're in Florida or Dominican Republic or like that area, let us on know any what the coast. Fuck is happening. <laughs> Yeah, yeah if you well, could, I mean, um, we would really appreciate right it right if you could yeah, go no, outside West Coast and videotape is it. All right. Don't videotape it. I'd rather no. people not die because they want to yeah. submit. There's fucking... all those videos of like, what, was, wasn't it like a tsunami? I see yeah. some action, man. <laughs> Yo, why don't you go outside? <laughs> nah, I don't want to die. <laughs> was it in Japan that that tsunami hit? Like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, know, ten years ago, something like that. Yeah, <laughs> that Fukushima. tsunami messed them up. You could see all like there were so many recordings of people just like, "Wow, all the water's gone on the beach. Let's just walk out there because this is weird and cool, right?" And you just see people walking into what should be the ocean floor, but isn't because before a tsunami hits, the water recedes tremendously, and uh, they didn't live. So don't be that person. Oh, just stay inside. Some boat. Stay safe. Ready. Stay, stay the fuck away from the water. <laughs> yeah. There you go. If water is at a beach, don't fuck it. Leave. Or if you any see area a bunch of water, of and you see or... the water go way back, get out of there. Yeah, yeah get, get out, out of there. Or yeah. if you see just some animals all running in the same direction and it's not towards the water. <laughs> yeah, generally, <laughs> if a left mob is right. running away from you, yeah. uh, you should probably fucking keep it. Or if you see a dog, go pet it. Yeah, if you see a dog, definitely yeah, pet maybe it. Maybe give it a little treat. Yeah, belly rub. don't don't pull a tiger and go through the streets of New York and Division and shoot yeah, every dog on don't, sight. Please, <laughs> God, don't shoot every dog. <laughs> that reminds me, we gotta play more Division or GTA tonight, depending because I they both have uh, PUBG equivalents now. I, I, I really want to try the GTA. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm curious. I mean, I'm well, not I'm a huge than, fan of the combat system in I GTA, but it's good enough. Um, actually, I was playing around uh, on a side note with GTA. I was playing around with the first-person settings, and you actually can set it so that you're actually properly aiming down sights. I didn't realize this until very recently. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can do person. that. Yeah, it feels a lot better when you actually do that. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's still awkward, and you still look yeah. weird from a third-person perspective. Yeah, like, you look like a fucking freak when GTA you're in GTA is person. just a fun game, though. <laughs> it's great. Pretty much. More than likely tonight, though, after the show, I will be probably just grinding out, getting the podcast ready. So just in case something does happen to either me or Trey or whatever this week in our area, it'll be coming out. So even if I'm fucking dead, episode yeah. 21 will live. Yeah, worst case <laughs> scenario, gonna... try, make sure you can get the podcast too. Go ahead and charge a bunch of my uh, and then handhelds. We'll get it up. Yeah, definitely if you charge. Die, how are we going to get all our ad money? Yeah, shit. That would be fucking Ooh. bad. <laughs> yeah, and I don't have a will either, so I'm pretty sure like none, like nobody in my life could even get access to my funds. I'm pretty sure. This Can you make a will and shit. only put me in it? No, put no. me in it too. <laughs> no, do me. I want your Xbox. I want, your, I I want his Xbox. Want your Xbox. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah, you. you can have my Xbox. All right, <laughs> fine. I'll take his computer. All right, I have a better computer. I want his yeah. Elvis pictures. I got 1080 TV. Like, my grandma. Pictures of grandma's. Grandma's. <laughs> 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 She loves Elvis, man. I want your wallpaper. So, guys, remember last week when I was talking about uh, The Last Wish and how everybody should read it? That so, dude. this week, this week for listeners of the Too Soon Podcast, Audible is offering a free audiobook download with a free 30-day trial to give you an opportunity to check out their service. So, if you want, if you didn't go out and buy The Last Wish by Andre Sapkowski, then you can go and go to audibletrial.com slash too soon and hit it up. You know, see what I'm talking about, you know fucking listen to the goddamn book and it is experience so good it's it's an awesome book so if you want to download the free audiobook uh make it the last wish or whatever book you want today you can go to audibletrial.com slash too soon and download whatever you want 
Again, that's audibletrial.com slash too soon for your free audiobook. Check it out. Yeah. Thanks, Audible. Thanks, Audible. Our first sponsor. Whoop, you guys whoop. are sponsored. Yeah. Yee. Yeah. <laughs> I've only been saying to get some sponsors since day one, but look at Audible. They're they hooking us up. They love us. Yeah. I remember back when we started, I was thinking about getting actual more sponsors, and I figured I'd try to wait at least till we have around 15, 20 episodes, and lo and behold, we got it <laughs> last just week at was the 20, 20. Mark. <laughs> yep. yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, last week is roughly when we, like, almost had it finalized if i remember correctly yeah yeah we've had it finalized for like a few weeks but then i had some more information to fill out with them before i was actually able to give you guys the link so and it happened to work out that i wanted to talk about a book the week that like right before we had everything good so it just worked out perfectly well that just goes (laughs) to show how perfect this podcast is we are the best podcast of all time (laughs) thank you audible for being the real homie yeah, but it's interesting about your um your book choice. I do have, a, like I mentioned at the time, a copy of The Last Wish. I still have not started because I was going to go through those Halo books. Well, you soon. know what you should do? You should go to audibletrial.com slash too soon and then listen to listen the book to it. rather than read it. Because if you yeah, don't if I like to read... More, then I might... Yeah, oh, no. I like reading, though. If you don't I'd like to read, do then fucking listen to it. I actually used it, and I got the... Uh... Was it Apocalypse Now Now? Apocalypse Now Now? Wait, yeah. what? What the fuck is that? It's what? a book. <laughs> now Now? No, shit. I mean, Apocalypse I've watched actually... the movie Apocalypse Now. Yeah, and then there's a book called Apocalypse Now Now. Is it... <laughs> what? I can read you, like, a quick description of what it is. Is it, like, at all connected to the movie? No, no, no. Okay. Interesting. Well, actually, I've never seen the movie, so... Give me a quick <laughs> so maybe. of Now we need to be sponsored by uh, <laughs> fucking Apocalypse Now, a movie from 1970 or something? 2013. Hey, re- remember at the start of the summer when I got I told you guys that I had a list of movies that I wanted to watch? I watched two of them. <laughs> Is one of them Apocalypse Now? Here, no, I both of them you. were Alien. Oh, oh, Alien and Aliens? Yeah. Well, that's, that's pretty good, but I would yeah. definitely recommend... Uh, Apocalypse Still now. excellent movie. I'm recently. trying to read you the thing. Well, okay. read us the be thing. more assertive. It says Baxter, uh, some Russian last name. All right. Is it Sapkowski? Good start. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Baxter something. Life is pretty sweet. He's making a name for himself as a kingpin of a smut peddling high school syndicate. The other gangs are trying to out his business, and he's dating the girl of his dream, Esme. But when Esme gets kidnapped, things start to get seriously weird, and the only man drunk enough to help is a bearded, boo-soaked, supernatural bounty hunter that goes by the name of Jackson Jackie Ronnie. That sounds a lot like Apocalypse Now. (laughs) It doesn't sound anything like Apocalypse Now. I mean, Apocalypse Now is weird, but not that weird. Starts out normal, gets off the hinges. Yeah, towards, plunge like, into the, third the increasingly bizarre landscape of Cape Town supernatural underworld. Baxter and Ronan team up to save Esme on a journey that takes them to the realms of impossibility. They must face every conceivable nightmare to get her back, including an odd brush with the apocalypse. Well, wow. if that if that interests you, then you can go to audibletrial.com dot com slash too soon and let's use your one free book. T double O now. S double O N. Yeah. Or the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which that is a good is, book. That's another good book. But did Google well, tell you yeah. that was the the book that's correlated to the movie? Uh, no. I just looked up Apocalypse Now. Now. I mean, <laughs> it's it's definitely. I'm pretty n- sure it's not no correlated connection to, to the movie. movie from Nova, the what's the movie about? Vietnam. Yeah, it's different. <laughs> It's a little <laughs> bit different. <laughs> it's, I mean, it starts out being about Vietnam. Then it gets into a whole thing where uh, an ex-commander, I don't remember exactly what rank, kind of runs away from the U.S. military. It kind of creates a cult with the indigenous people. Uh, they kill a cow, like, in real life. <laughs> they decapitate the fucker. Uh, and you get to watch every frame of it. Great. That's that's hot. Uh, yeah, it's it's an interesting film. The reason I started listening to this book because somebody did a short film on it, which I'll send the link in the uh, crew yeah, chat. Send me that shit. And I thought it was pretty cool, so I was like, I'll 
Check out the book. So there's a short film called Apocalypse Now Now, which is stealing the name from Apocalypse Now, but has nothing to do with Apocalypse Now. Well, it's not stealing the name. Well, it's, it's not stealing. I, mean, I mean, it's all right. It's they, heavily they inspired. They added a now. <laughs> yeah. So it's they not added stealing. three letters. It's, it's completely in a space. different. <laughs> is how old's the book? Uh, 2013, maybe, I think, maybe 14, I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, published 2013. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that Apocalypse And then the now short film is, is based off of older. the book. Yeah, 2013 definitely doesn't sound like 1970, so. <laughs> yeah, no, that's the same year. Probably the movie's years. got them beat by a little bit. All right, I gotta, I gotta look up exactly the release date of Apocalypse Now, singular. <laughs> Just one now. Uh, that's what? What it sounds like to me, probably. No. Yeah, 1979. Uh, yeah, 1979. Yeah, so it's got a couple of years. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I believe there are that, also maybe... two versions of it, though. But the original one is the really long one. And then I think they cut it down, if I remember correctly, and that made it better. <laughs> Because I just saw the short film and I thought it was really, really good, so I decided to try the book. Well, that's Wait, interesting. But where'd you see the short film at, though? Uh, I put the link in the uh, crew chat. If you want oh, to it's just it. the online. Com. How did you come across it? Um, Reddit actually. Ah. I was going through the video section and I saw it. And I was like, uh, I'll watch it. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I'll watch it. Yeah, it's yeah. only like seven minutes long. So kid kind of looks like Harry Potter. I was yeah. I was thinking the exact same thing. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Harry yeah, Potter ripoff. If, if it wasn't for the circular glasses, I would have said and like, the, like a... blood on the forehead. Yeah, blood yeah. on the forehead I mean, gets me. If it would have been circle glasses, no blood, I'd been like not Harry Potter. If it would have been, you know, square blood glasses, blood, I'd be like not Harry Potter. Yeah. If so. you had <laughs> really long blonde hair, a beard, and a hammer, I'd be like, yo, that kid looks like Thor. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but he doesn't. He looks like Harry Potter because of his give current him, characteristics. Give him white hair and a scar over his eye, and I'd say he looks like Geralt. Well, Arabia. I mean, it's two, two of the characters. Only two of them together make it Harry Potter. I don't Potter. know. His facial shape. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not a. F- yeah, uh, maybe. His age. Yeah, he, looks he like does. Harry Potter. His head is kind of Daniel Radcliffe shaped. Hey, follow us on bit, Twitter to tell bit. us how much this kid looks like Harry Potter or yeah. looks like Thor or whatever he looks like. <laughs> looks like Thor. <laughs> <laughs> just imagine him with a beard yeah follow us on twitter at who's podcast like yeah. i have that like, i mean down pat at this point i this imagine that that name though apocalypse now now must actually have been made now now only because the movie exists like i imagine this person probably just really wanted uh, yeah. the name apocalypse now yeah probably i can imagine i still don't understand why you need the second now but well eh. because if you didn't it... <laughs> i wonder yeah, if they make you get sued the second book if it'll be apocalypse now, now, now. <laughs> I'm just I'm uh, the surprised they didn't like, get sued just based off of this. So the second book is like Kill Baxter, and then his last what? name. What is that supposed to be like Kill Bill? Are they ripping off every fucking movie? Yo, sure. That should I I should start writing books, and all of my <laughs> fucking names will just be like classic movie ripoffs. Kill Bill, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, if I was going to guess a sequel name for Apocalypse Now, no, I would have been like Apo- Apocalypse Now Then. <laughs> now, <laughs> like that yeah. it's just called Kill Baxter. Apocalypse Tomorrow. <laughs> for a sequel? So first it's Apocalypse Now Now and then Kill Baxter. Well, no, it could be a prequel to the sequel. Every time I hear the word Apocalypse every, uh, after I saw the latest Apes movie, I just think of the spray paint that says uh, Ape Apocalypse, like down in the sewer somewhere. I'm like. Yo, what is this? Some kind of spent the their of the time apes? going into the fucking sewer to spray paint apocalypse on the wall instead of just trying to live. Seems like a huge waste of your resources and time. But sure, even in the apocalypse, nice you need to have some kind of uh, personal expression of it's important. Yeah, but it was just Very a tag. Important. It wasn't even good. It was like the guy that tag. just writes well, like on the side of the I think fucking I'll just 95. Start writing ape everywhere. <laughs> Just to pass the time, you know? Yeah, just do what you want. When I was driving back from Jersey, uh, I found the exact route that I want to introduce you guys to New York State through if you go to uh, the airport that's in Jersey. What is it called? Newark. Help me out. Newark. If you fly into Newark Airport, I have the exact route that will instantly introduce you to the city. And it's basically... I want to go to Chinatown. 
<laughs> no, it's it's just it's just take ninety five because it's just fucking I wanna perfect. Go, I want to go to Chinatown. Uh, well, I mean that's into the city. I'm just saying, like introducing you to the state. I want to see Chinese people. I've never seen them before. I've never Ever? seen a Chinese man before. <laughs> okay, I mean your wish is my command. I suppose. I mean in Florida, all you got is brown and not brown. That's fair. So, Drake can I mean, test. Would would Asians? Like fall into not brown, or would they? Uh, like, what if there was a I Korean? <laughs> Have you ever asked an Asian that? What, hey, were... what color are you? <laughs> no, I've never asked are a you, Korean. Are you brown Asian. or are you not brown? <laughs> the fuck are you? <laughs> you Next Asian person I see, that's what I'm gonna ask. You you know, know, I mean, if, you? If, if if people can get pretty upset about assuming someone's gender, I don't want to assume Chinese people's, you know, brownness. Self-identified brown color. they are. I don't think that's how that works. I, all I do is yeah. assume brownness. I think I mean, we all got a little bit brown like, on the inside. Like white people aren't really white. Like we're not like paper. Yeah, I'm, I'm like red. I don't know what I am? Are you brown though? I'm. I it's racist I'm to like, say I'm flesh. I'm slightly are you brown, brown though. But I have no like brown either. In brown me. or not brown. Trey, how do you feel about the color flesh being white people's skin? Uh, Therefore implying that your skin color is not flesh. You don't have flesh. You have brown. You have brown. You have, you have the, now you got more editing work. <laughs> Hopefully I remember right. It didn't even I make sense. You calling me, uh, I, I did add those flesh. last time. Yeah, I, I know. I, I listened to it. It was good. I appreciate that. Twice I did that. Twice, yeah. but you didn't add the rejoin sound, so that was, that threw me off a little bit. Yeah, Trey's Trey's just back. Back. I, I I couldn't make it sound natural. No, I never left. I know. Don't worry. I tried. <laughs> it would have just interrupted. And we know nothing about interruptions here. <laughs> <laughs> no, we only know about talking over each other. Exactly. Yeah, it's not technically interrupting. And then Nova's just, dyslexic. <laughs> uh, I, let's just keep fucking referencing that. Nova can't <laughs> yes, read. Yes, I am uh, dyslexic. Uh, can't read well. I like audiobooks because of it. Audibletrial.com slash too soon. I was waiting for that. <laughs> I was, I was, good. That was, I was waiting good. to I see like, if I somebody else would say it, and then I was like, all right, I, I guess I have to whore this out just like I whore out the Twitter at too soon. Well, podcast. it's your best at. <laughs> In the future, while while you guys, we, I'm just gonna give a little behind the scenes. We recorded uh, some pre-recorded ads for our new sponsorship, and in doing so, you you do a little like personal customization to it and all that. And I referenced my whole being dyslexic, and Trey Trey finds it hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the first time you brought it up. That's what I find hilarious about it. <laughs> Wait, wait, what? The first time I brought it up? I said it's not the first time you brought it up. Oh, well, I mean, it's relevant frequently. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, it, it took up a large portion of my life. And by that, I mean all of it. Because I'm dyslexic. And it's there. Wow, wow, wow. My but basically what I was getting at dyslexic. is the... So what, you want me to read to you? Is that what you want, huh? Uh, no, because I have a fucking great service to read it to me. Audio book. <laughs> I, I'm retarded. Like he hesitated uh, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> AudibleTrial.com <laughs> slash too soon. Anyways, what I was getting to was... Please don't cut that out, Trenton. <laughs> I was originally uh, introduced to uh, audiobooks probably in the 6th or 7th, probably 6th grade, because that was when it really starts hitting you, like when you can't read well and it takes forever. You, it, it really becomes noticeable because that's when you like really start getting into novels and whatnot. And that's when I started my special ed school. And Winward, the special ed school that I went to, actually recommended that if it's convenient for you, just listen to audiobooks. And I don't believe Audible existed at the time. I don't think... Probably I don't not. think anything like I, it really I feel like existed. they're relatively a new company. Because I, I'm pretty sure I was listening to tapes. If I remember correctly, it was a cassette, cassette tape, tape that I would Yo, I fucking to. love cassette tapes. Yeah, so I, I listened to... Uh, Please I listened to Animal House. I listened to... The rest to of the not Animal House. Uh, Animal Farm. Animal House. Animal House. <laughs> fucking movie. Uh, I listened to Animal Farm. I listened to... Uh, 
To Kill a Mockingbird. I listened to uh, what, Of Mice All and of Men. this in sixth grade? Uh, yeah. I don't know if it was all in sixth grade. I'm just like going. Uh, the biggest book that I know that I, I must have listened to it because I remember the size of the book. What they recommended was you listen to the book, but you read along. That way yeah. it, it helps your skill, uh, and, but sustains a good pace so that you don't tire out. Uh, what is it called? Uh, the Life of Gump, something like that. Oh shit! Forrest Gump? No. Wow, Garp. Garp. Gumby? Uh, something Garp. The fuck? <laughs> what? Oh, it's I, such I know a what, good book. I know I what book remember. you're talking about because I. This know is my character. recommendation. As soon as I figure out the name of. Well, don't the recommend book. it. Wait until. You Life according to Garp. There we go. A fucking idiot. <laughs> 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 Should have saved it for when you make a recommendation. Well, when uh, I will recommend it uh, henceforth. All right. Well, I'm not putting in the link dump so that nobody can find it. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. I mean, you can Google it. <laughs> but you guys want to hear a fun fact? Yeah. I just found out Audible was founded in 1995. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, so my mom not did not know new. about it at the time because they didn't have great podcasts like this one to let her know. I wasn't well, born. Well, you yet. know what? They probably made those cassette tapes. Maybe. Yeah. So. Well, thanks, thanks Audible. Audible. <laughs> you got you, me through middle helped, school and whatnot. You helped or and, and be beyond. Slightly less stupid. Yeah, I mean, what what year were they acquired by Amazon though? The company. Recently. Because they are an Amazon company now. Yes. I think it's been for quite a few years now, though. I think it's been like yeah, at least like five yeah, years. Yeah, it feels recently, recently, but it's definitely been a while. Yeah. Google that shit. <laughs> yeah. So, somebody who did it. But do you guys want to hear something that is also a fun fact? I'm having fun. Nope. Let me know. Fucking football's back tomorrow as we're recording this, but not as we're listening to this. But football is also on tomorrow as you're listening to this. If you're listening to this the day it comes out. It's less less fun than I had well, anticipated. Why did you just say it's on Yo, Sunday? I'm so fucking happy. I miss football so much. <laughs> uh, yeah. Would maybe. you love when they get a hole in one? What's your team then, Liam? Tell us. My team is the Philadelphia Eagles. That's why he only wears green. That's why I only wear green. (laughs) Yeah. But they play on Sunday. But the Patriots play the Chiefs tomorrow. And I'm going to watch that because I have players on my fantasy team. So do you just support like Philadelphia teams for all sports? No. I, I support every New York team that isn't the Giants. And in that case, I support the Philadelphia Eagles. Do you do, like, the whole fantasy football where, like, you try to win the money and everything? Uh, no. I mean, I do it with my friends. So, oh. well, techni- technically, no, technically it is for money. We are, we're all putting 20 in for this. All right. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. We you use an app or you just do it yourself? Yeah, we use the Yahoo fantasy app. Yahoo! Yahoo! Because I know there's, like, a f- yeah. fuck ton of, like, uh, yeah, there are like so fantasy football many. apps now. I like the websites. idea of fantasy sports. I just don't care enough about... yeah you need to actually watch the sports too. yeah and I, I just don't like i I, so, I love the yankees i grew up watching the yankees but i can't really dedicate i also don't have cable i would have yeah. to stream i do fantasy uh, football and fantasy know. hockey and those are fun as fuck all right so liam i'm curious now so i oh, have wait guys it's mm, actually what? sport time with liam da na 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 Oh yeah, that hasn't happened in a while. <laughs> but no, so I've never had someone actually explain like a full fantasy league. So let me just ask, and then you can correct me if I'm wrong. So it's just a whole bunch of people that are tracking individual players on their like real player stats for their fantasy teams, depending on how well those players do on their real teams, will benefit your team, right? Yeah. Okay, so then I understand that part. So how does the how do the matches work? How do the games work? Like, how do you actually determine who's doing the best just by by the average? of yeah, how so, well your members so are. So there's a, a point value that goes with every different stat. So, like, if you catch the ball, you get a point. If you run for 10 yards, you get a point. If you throw the ball for 10 yards, you get a point. Like, it, so it goes by that. So each individual player has their stat line, and then with each stat line, you get a certain amount of points. And then they add up all the... You have, a, like, a select m- number of players per, t- like, active team. So for my league... Uh, you have the quarterback, you have two wide receivers, two running backs, tight end, uh, flex player, and then a kicker. That's just offense. And Slam. Yeah. That's, that could be either a wide receiver, running back, or a tight end. So, And then you add up all those points. And we're doing a full defense, so it's even more complicated than that. 
but so you add up all the points and then it's your total point number versus the total point number for the person you're against for that week oh so it's by okay that makes sense for each like each week a game for each week right yeah um each and team, so it's, just about each team plays every week yeah, yeah i've so watched the league it's funny and then the total stats is what determines the win right yep whoever has okay. more points is the winner now, now because I'm determined is, to have all the more points. Now, because it's fantasy, though, do you guys do, like, like do people typically do, like, loser brackets too, so in case someone does really shit in the season, they still get a chance to do something well, or how do you guys I mean, do it? We technically, we have a loser bracket, so that when the season's over, it, it, it's like a fight for third place, fight for fourth place, fifth place, whatever, but we don't really care about that. We care about who wins, because we're doing a money league this year, so whoever wins gets... I think it's first place gets everything second place gets like their money back and then everyone else is fucked <laughs> okay and then one more question so for substitutes so do, can you have any or yeah you have a bench you, okay so there's a bench so, so so you can make changes out of like your starting starting guys throughout the season yeah, because it's not working out right i think after week like two every single team gets a bye week gets one bye week so in the philadelphia eagles case their bye week i think is 11 or something or eight something like that so week eight comes around i'll have to take all the eagles that are on my starting lineup and put them on my bench and then put whoever i have in reserves uh hmm. in the starters spot and same shit for hockey too right yep same goes for well hockey is a little more difficult because hockey has like because it's it goes by day instead of by week because hockey for each week a team can play like three or four times so you can switch out you switch out your players every day so you have as many active players playing at a time yeah hockey's a lot more difficult but football is in my opinion football is more fun because i love football more fun for fantasy or just in general uh in general because i like being able to watch every single game for football this is only like 10 or something games all right then. You mean for your team, right? Well, there's 16 games in a season, uh, 17 weeks in a season. So I I can watch just about every single game per week, like with the exceptions of the ones I really don't care about. Um, but yeah. Did yeah, you ever I play really... hockey? I played street hockey a couple times. I was bad. You play okay. football? I play football. Uh, like with my friends. And oh, I am cricket. You play cricket. <laughs> you play cricket? Speaking cricket? of crickets, there's big crickets at the nature. <laughs> yeah, there are big fucking crickets. Not to be uh confused with a spider, because they're not. Yeah. What's they, the one they game look like sport? spiders? Uh, oh, yeah. And that was sports time with Liam. Da, 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 da. Okay. Da, da, da. <laughs> you ever play uh I think it's called croquet? Oh I love croquet. Yeah, croquet. Yeah, croquetti. Yeah, uh, okay, let's play croquet. What about a uh, badminton? I fucking love badminton. Bad. That's one of my <laughs> favorite games of all time. What about a uh, pickleball? Pickleball is all right. I prefer. I'm just pong. listing everything we played at gym in high school. <laughs> Yo, did you ever play uh, Ultimate Speedball? No, that sounds like something that my friends and I made up for lunch. Yo, Ultimate Speedball was fucking great. You ever played a uh, sock boxing? I probably have, but I don't know what it is. When you pick each other, your boxing gloves are just socks, and you punch each other. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was just gonna be you, you wear socks and kick each other. Oh, no, I guess it was I, like uh, sock and boppers. In high school, no, you guys ever played smear the, the queer? Tooth. Smear the queer, cool. <laughs> the Halo yeah. 3 game type. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I got my Letterman in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's bright pink. <laughs> that was a good game type in Halo, though. Very offensive. Yeah. In real people. life, it's just, it's just pick a kid and bully him and push yeah. him down instead. <laughs> Didn't do that in real life because not a total asshole, just a just an a regular asshole. I'm a creative wiped. asshole. W- wiped or unwiped? Uh, <laughs> I'm clean? clean. You clean at least. I'm clean. I shower. Good. But, Wait, but so I'm, every time you poop, you shower? <laughs> every time. Every single time. So no, I'm glad. Uh, I'm surprised by how many of the bathrooms in our school have showers. Really? Yeah, like in the, in the uh, liberals in their showers. 
The fu- <laughs> like in a lot of the dorm buildings, <laughs> there seems to be obviously, but I just uh, don't go to the also in the uh, the student center. What is it, Berman? The with the the yeah. gym upstairs the gym and shit like that. They all have showers. That's but, interesting. Uh, yeah, you could take a shower while you poop. Not really. I like that. Oh, while? Wow. No, not while. Yeah, I mean, do you, you, you have to like Vance. step it into the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you step it into the drain. Yeah, you you might need a little bit of little diarrhea pushing maneuver. Oh, or diarrhea. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> and have good aim. Good aim. Good aim. Pretty good aim with diarrhea. Just a big enough drain. <laughs> or you could just have a lack of uh, caring and just shit on the wall. <laughs> so many I mean, options it's unbelievable it's, it's Manhattanville liberal, truly is a school college. for anybody yep yeah. that's why we're the most diverse want. campus well, apparently not Trump supporters because they got kicked out didn't they well a lot of them did but they were oh, actual... yeah that's because you're racist piece of shit well they were also van. <laughs> yeah they were vandalized it wasn't just a viewpoint it was yeah. they were committing it's not that, a that they crime. were Trump supporters it's that they were, were committing assholes. hate crimes so yeah. yeah they got kicked out I don't think it was every single one I heard stories because uh I don't know if I mentioned this on the podcast, but one of my professors is uh, the ex-head of DC Comics, uh, and he runs a class called Writing for the Media, and he he's a very cool guy, kind of strange, but pretty cool. He'll just randomly go off on Trump. You like Batman? <laughs> Hey kids, you like Batman? No, he's he's not that weird. <laughs> but he'll, you know he'll Batman just didn't vote for like Trump. like we're not even remotely talking about politics, and he'll just be like, "Hey, maybe you guys will grow up to be able to replace that fucking idiot we have in the in the White House." <laughs> like, damn! All right, where'd that come from? And apparently, uh, Liam and I, our friend Natalie, took the class last semester, and she had a girl who left in the middle of class on the first day because of that and uh after she left uh natalie told me that uh that the professor what did he say he just said uh something simple like well i guess uh she doesn't uh hate trump and then moved on (laughs) (laughs) but but it's just funny because like most people are completely fine with it i guess she can't take opposing viewpoints well, I mean, he was he's he's being an asshole about it, but yeah, but it doesn't matter. I'm not gonna say he's wrong. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You're allowed to have a fucking opposing viewpoint. That's what college is for. Yeah, but I mean, if I had a professor that kept talking about how great Trump was, I probably wouldn't leave. But I'd hate that fucking class. Yeah, but still, like, I am very much not a Trump hater nor a Trump supporter, but. I can I get over it when people are talking about Trump in either way. Like it's yeah, just but like, I'm in my like media care. writing class. I don't want to hear about that either. <laughs> well, yeah. all right. You well, but I your, was... your 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 perspective is from someone who doesn't hate or love the guy. You're already at an advantage. Let's say uh, who's someone you actually hate? Hitler. You probably hate Hitler, right? No, nah, I love Hitler. Hitler did general nothing wrong. good person I hate. <laughs> I like what he did. That's a joke. <laughs> So, generally speaking, ever, most people like Hitler. I mean, what? No, don't like Hitler. <laughs> no, right. uh, Great topic for our point. first sponsored podcast. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we don't like Hitler. Let's get that out of the way. But, all right. So, let's say your <laughs> professor kept talking about how fucking, like, justified and great Hitler was. Probably would get on your nerves. <laughs> Probably would kind of creep you out a bit. Make you uh, feel like you're in uh, Charlottesville. Yeah, I mean, yeah. as, as terrible it. as it sounds, everyone's <laughs> everyone's allowed to have their own views. <laughs> like, I am very much a firm believer that if you want to fucking believe whatever you want, go for it. Because people have some really dumb views, and it's not my place to say you can't believe that. <laughs> well, I I very much, I, I, it's it's not the American way, but I like this way. The modern Germany way is, yeah, believe, do whatever you want, believe whatever you want, except Nazis. Nazis. Fuck you. <laughs> like, it, just, fuck off. And yeah, I, see, I don't know, like, see, it's un American, but I'm a huge though. fan of that idea. Just like, yeah, you could do whatever you want. Uh, you don't like gay people? That's fine. But uh, Nazi? No, we're not doing that again. We That did not work out. Yeah, but we still, tried it. They, we didn't they like it. They have a whole movement of anti Muslim people that 
are totally fine. Like, there's nothing wrong with them. But if you haven't noticed, that's exactly what Hitler did, except he didn't like the Jews. I think they're just ultimately afraid of the swastika, which is understandable. Yeah, it's it's understandable to be afraid of neo-Nazis, but to welcome in the sort of way that the Germans have been a the Pegida movement, which is very anti immigrant, anti Muslim, anti all that stuff, which I shouldn't, I'm not the person to be talking about this because I am not German, nor do I live in Germany, nor do I genuinely know what's happening there. I just watched a documentary on it for one of my <laughs> classes. Uh, but I, this is like, I'm saying this from outsider looking in, which, which is another thing I hate when anybody outside of America talks shit about Trump. It's like, it's not your fucking problem. You're not allowed to talk about it's this true. shit. But it, yeah, it, it is odd. Yeah, but so, I mean, I, the thing is, it is partially their problem, like, a little bit, because but, America affects the whole fucking world. Yeah, but when Irish people are talking shit about Trump, and it's just like, dude, your government's just as fucked up. Like, all right, when can, but it's also when, when it's just meaningless shit. When where British it's just like, are, oh, I hate him. It's like that's yeah. all right. That's when when the British helpful. are going off saying that like Trump is the worst, yet they have fucking idiots like Boris, whatever the hell his name is. Uh, <laughs> I, fucking, I love it whenever John literally a British a Trump, that, dude. Yeah, yeah so, he really is. Like, you can't just talk shit all you want. So. He's younger and somehow uglier. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, that is my I don't word. even know his I'm politics. Done. I just... He's a funny looking dude, so that's what I'm basing that comment off of. Yeah, so uh, let's move away from this because... <laughs> Actually, I was going to ask dark. you guys some really quick, a, a quick little question. Do you guys know what else people have really large dividing viewpoints on? Music. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you got it right. <laughs> Let me guess. That was inspired by that guy in your Twitch chat the other day. I was going to say Muslims. No, actually, remind me. What do you mean? Uh, that kid who was like, all real music sucks. Oh yeah, no. That's I mean, such I got... a weird comment. Saraski and I were watching your stream uh, in Discord together, and we're like, "What's that even TV mean?" Slash Tigazzle TV. Oh, <laughs> he, I, I, His I argument think I was basically, if it's not a joke song, if it's not a meme song. It's not worth listening to. <laughs> well, Why? I th- I th- well, I think no. what he meant is that since most mainstream popular music is generally just not amazing music, might as well listen to shit joke music because it's not much better than that. That's even worse. But there's yeah. such a great backlog. Yo, I'm just just only music. listen to Mind Diamonds for a week. I understand <laughs> not wanting I to listen hear to kid modern day my music ear for five hours. <laughs> but it's like just go back <sighs> 10, 20 years, and you got some good shit. So do that. Well, you don't to need to classics, rely on man. the internet just meme. Literally, shit. just scratch the surface of the shit, and you'll see diamonds. Like music that comes out now, there's still fucking good music. You just need to look for it. Yeah, I <laughs> I, I, I occasionally come across it, and it, I like it, but very rarely. Yeah. Every day. Who's got their first recommendation, though? I'm gonna oh. recommend one eight hundred two seven three. 8255 by logic because I tried to do it two weeks ago, but then we never released that podcast. I was gonna say, didn't we already do that? Forgot. But I did logic last week. Well, I'm doing logic this week. No. <laughs> uh, I am going to keep looking. My the way you doing? All right, so I got one. So. This song was pretty popular back in 2009. You guys remember uh, that movie, The Sorcerer's Apprentice? No. <laughs> Never watched it. Well, well, it had a song uh, from One Republic called Secrets that was like, really Wait, popular. Wait, was The Sorcerer's that Apprentice, was that the one with Nicolas, Nicolas Cage? Nicolas Cage, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a great movie, but I like that song. The and title that was... sounds familiar, but I could not remember the plot or look of Nicolas the... Cage was... was in it, so. That's, that's, it was like, that's like it was... 30% of the image. I need more. <laughs> Yeah, it was a weird Disney reimagining of the whole, like, uh, you know how in Fantasia, Mickey Mouse is the sorcerer's apprentice with the hat and all that? Yes. Ba- basically, it's one of Seth Rogen's friends playing some weird nerdy kid who gets coached by Nicholas Cage on how to be a sorcerer. What the fuck? All right, I don't yeah. think I saw stupid. that. The, the name is definitely familiar, but I don't think I saw it. Yeah, it wasn't a great movie, but I do like the One Republic song that was featured for, like, all the trailers, and it was in the movie, too, at the end, I think. All right, I'm going to recommend, assuming I have not already, it seems, I think my Spotify is glitched whenever I move a song into the playlist. It says it's a duplicate, but I'm just going to guess that it's not. Uh, Come a Little Bit Closer by Jay and the Americans. Oh, Jay. 
OJ. OJ Simpson. Simpson. <laughs> I've been trying to watch the People vs. OJ Simpson, but there's I just have so much other shit that I need to do. Did you guys see uh, or listen to uh, what is it? The is it just called the story of OJ? The the rap oh, song the by Jay Z song. Jay Z, yeah. I actually really. I like have it. listened to it. Wait, but didn't didn't Brendan Fraser make orange juice? Well, yeah. <laughs> Brendan Fraser yeah. is the origin he, of orange juice. He invented juice. orange juice, so he made OJ. <laughs> Well, there's Jay. there's a line in that huh? song where it's "I'm not black, I'm OJ," and he goes, "Okay." What's up? My Does Milo have a, has song requests ready? Uh, yeah, he said "Billy Jean" by Michael Jackson. All right, isn't that right, That's Milo? Classic. Ain't that right, Milo? Fine, nigga, don't say anything. <laughs> Be that way. Before oh, so the that, the white people took Michael. So the the ending of this podcast. I'd, I'd like to thank Audible once once last more time for sponsoring us, for for giving us a shot, for not thinking that we're too much of assholes, for, for liking us enough to do something. I don't know. <laughs> Milo and likes where, that. And where can people who are not sponsors, <laughs> just regular listeners, find out more about the show? I literally forgot I had to do that. <laughs> if you want to hit us up, though. Follow us on Twitter at Too Soon Podcast. We're on Facebook, facebook.com slash Too Soon Podcast. YouTube or Too Soon Podcast. Well, you can download us on Google Play, iTunes, Libsyn, Stitcher, TuneIn, all the good shit. Uh, if you want to email us any questions, want to email us any concerns, want to tell us, hey, you guys are racist or something, uh, hit us up at the Too Soon Crew at gmail.com. <laughs> or something. Or something. I don't fucking know. You what have else a could problem. we be? I just can't identify it. It might what be What else racism. could we be? <laughs> Uh, let us know at our, <laughs> at our fucking email we don't really talk the about too soon crew at gmail.com uh, if you want to talk to us sometime play games with us maybe uh, join our discord discord.me slash too soon podcast uh, we're usually on discord if we're online we're usually playing games uh, if you want to listen to any of the music that we have been suggesting over these past 21 weeks technically even more than 21 weeks because we're idiots uh, <laughs> hit up the Too Soon playlist on Spotify uh, and then also if you want to check out any of the things that we talk about during the episode if you go to the YouTube page if you watch any of the episodes in the description there's a pretty lengthy uh, link dump that I make every week and I put a lot of effort into it so please love me specifically for that reason and that reason alone yeah no don't love me for any other reason <laughs> please <laughs> please God. God oh yeah Jessica will fight <laughs> And you, you know Jessica. She's been on the podcast. Sounds like Milo might too. Yeah, Milo. And you're going to give too. birth to a baby that doesn't walk. Cause yeah, I'm going gonna, gonna to stop He's my child from walking. And I'm only going to give babies. him steroids. Steroids and a light press. Milo Chains to keep him oh. down. Before we start getting any more plans on abusing our children, let's go ahead and end the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you don't have any kids. Yeah, so to all you future parents out there, we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.